Hello everybody, Paul Humiller here at Dream Guitars, and here's another little tech video. Today I wanted to just talk in general about guitar body shapes and sizes. Um, and in particular, I wanted to invite you to listen to the sound of different shapes of guitars, um, both as a way of helping you search for something and also understanding just what different guitar bodies might be good for. So let's start from small to big. And um, of course, Martin, a lot of the original body shapes came from Martin guitars. So they were sort of the standard for a long time. Nowadays, it's kind of getting blurry. Lots of builders um, use different dimensions depending on what they're doing with their own custom work. And then they might call them different names. But generally speaking, we have, um, of course, small guitars, medium sized guitars, and big guitars. So I'm gonna just grab a couple things here. Nothing scientific about this. This is really just informational um, and, and really inviting you to th think about guitars um, as the box having a certain characteristic to it. Now, of course, it's gonna be different for each maker, each wood, the exact dimensions, but generally speaking, of course, a very small guitar like a parlor is gonna have a certain character. So the first one we're going to look at here is what's commonly called a parlor or an O-size guitar. And they're typically about 13, 13 and a half inches or smaller. Um, and then there's a lot of different variations. Again, I'm just giving you the high level look here. So parlor O-size guitar is about 13 inches or so. So as you might expect, the parlor guitar has a smaller sound. Uh, it's still a great sound, but it has a very focused bass response, more snappy than, than big and bold, which can be really good for blues, for ragtime, um, folk music, people who um, write folk songs, sometimes small bodies work great for that. And then of course, there's the obvious advantage of it just being small, easy to carry, easy to put on a plane, easy to have next to your couch if you're a songwriter. So a lot of my friends that write songs have a guitar similar to this, very close at hand. Uh, so lots of good reasons to, to like a small guitar. So next up, we have a double O size guitar. A double O guitar is usually about 14 or 14 and eighth across the lower bout. And you're getting into 14 fret neck here. So just slightly bigger guitar, of course, than the parlor. And then somewhere, um, we're still just below the median size, if you will. So still a small body guitar. Um, and let's just have a quick listen to this one. So here in the double O size, you can hear you're starting to get a little bit more bass response. And it's a guitar that of course lends itself to blues. It's still small and focused, but now you get a little bit more growl in the bass. It's still kind of a snappy bass. Still not getting big and lush and warm yet, but more of it. And then of course the trebles are there and, and can fire out and really um, shoot the notes across the room. So that's a double O. So now we're moving into an OM size guitar or an orchestral model. These tend to be about 15 and a half across the lower bout. And you're getting into now what many people consider one of the most versatile sizes. It's big enough to have plenty of bass, but still have a lot of balance. Um, so smaller than this, you maybe have a little less bass. Above this, maybe some people would say you'd have too much bass, depending on what you're looking for. Again, just giving you a general sense here. This is not scientific. Just trying to have you start to listen to the body shape itself. So here's an OM guitar.
So again, OM really get into what I consider a very versatile body shape. Lots of people call up and they want a guitar that can sort of cover a lot of ground. I know it makes a lot of sense. The bass now is starting to get a little bit warmer and rounder, but still has that bit of snap, of course, depending on how you play it. Um, and then here you're getting just overall a bit more lushness and full character to the sound. So that's what an OM body shape will give you. A lot of people use these really for everything. Um, you'll see guys playing jazz and um, lots of fingerstyle players using them and also strummers will play them too. So you can decide for yourself. So here we have a big old jumbo guitar. Now we're getting into some serious territory. Um, jumbos, they, again, they vary, but this one is about 17 inches across the lower bout. So pretty much 16 and a half and bigger um, with what, what you'd be seeing in a jumbo guitar. It gives you a lot of face to create bass response um, and energy and just power. Between OM and Jumbo, there are some other models, of course. People are, are doing grand concerts, grand auditoriums. So there's a lot of different shapes in between all of these that we're talking about. But again, my goal is just to give you a sense of what the body shape and size does for a guitar. So Jumbos are going to, as you expect, give you a lot more bottom end and just a different energy to the guitar. So let's have a listen to this one. So there you go, a jumbo, of course, big, strong bass, overall energy. I can feel this shaking in my arms. So you can imagine this would be good for everything from blues and that sort of thing, of course, but even rock and roll and pop and even strumming because here you get a guitar where you can strum almost like a dreadnought also. So now we're getting into the very recognizable dreadnought guitar shape. Uh, designed, of course, to be the biggest guitar in the Martin lineup way back when. And uh, certainly we see them on stages every day still. So Dreadnought guitar is really good for strumming. It's really good for flat picking. Um, it's a big body guitar, so you're going to get lots of bass response. Um, the, what's changing in the character, and you can listen for yourself, and, and again... These are all just short samples of what I happened to grab today, but our, our YouTube channel has almost 10,000 videos now, so you can listen to 100 of each of these body shapes. And our website has an advanced search where you can actually put in the body shape, so you could literally pull up you know, 50, 60, 100 double O's, triple O's, OM's, and, and just sit there and listen, and try to listen more for the spatial sound, the quality of the box itself. That's sort of what I'm trying to teach you here, is just open up your ears to what the character of each design is supposed to give you. Um, so Dreadnought is really about powerful bass and sort of the boom chang you get when you strum like that. And then of course lead playing and things like that. So um, a big difference I hear is the trebles tend to be a little bit thinner and that's just due to the overall guitar shape and voicing and the bass tends to be more powerful. So I think they're better for strumming and flat picking than necessarily um, finger style guitar where balance is more important. So just one thing to think about. Let's give it a listen. So again, this is just a quick little showcase of some different body sizes. So maybe you can start to listen with your ears to what a different shape of a box, this part of the guitar really lends to each instrument, what music that might or might not be suitable for, or what appeals to you. That's the most important thing. So thanks for listening. We're always here for you at Dream Guitars.